What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Wes, did you like that professionalism there now in the intro, right? Wes is always giving out to me about the intro. We're doing, we're doing, we're doing uh, yeah, we'll have the behind the scenes of the fingers going up counting. But uh, I have to work on my outros. We'll see how I end this podcast in a, in a bit. But uh, Wes, it's been a while, man. Welcome back to the podcast. And we're going to be chatting all things eFootball. We've got some good, we've got some bad, we've got some everything in between. Wes, I know you've been smashing it, so you're going to be able to talk about divisions and climbing the ranks. I'm still in the lowly division four, I think. But, you uh, peasant. You absolute a peasant. peasant. Yeah, no, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding to anybody no, listening. No, you, you are people. right. I, I literally <laughs> am playing about three games a day and that's it. Like so. Um, uh, but yeah, man, how have you been? How have you been? We're going to touch on a lot of stuff. I know we're going to touch on a bit of mental health stuff as well towards the end. Um, mm-hmm. For anyone that's interested in that, there was a big... Yeah, I mean, people enjoyed the last chat. I think we've had. It's been a while since we've had a chat about that. Would have, uh, would have been the last. Would, yeah, it would have last been the last year. mental health awareness yeah. week, which would have been last year. So yeah. it's 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 come around quickly again uh, yeah, between man. the ninth and the thirteenth. Obviously, day of recording on the twelfth. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll certainly dig into that. As for me, I, I'm okay. I'm I'm all right. I've not been too bad. I've I've had some 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 good games. I've had some bad games. I've I've raged a little off stream. We've been watching. We've been watching on stream. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been, I've been, I've been doing a lot of work with the game. I'm quite enjoying it still. Um, which even, you know, I, I know we kind of got towards the end of this season one now, so yeah. I think everyone's kind of a little bit in anticipation of what's going to come next. But as it stands currently, still trying to feel out what's my best formation. Still trying to feel out what's my best lineup. But mm. ultimately, still enjoying the, uh, still enjoying the journey at the moment. Nice man. Yeah, I mean, there's always going to be. I think we've touched on this plenty of times before, but like, there's always going to be games you come up against where people are trying to win at all cost you know what i mean like you'll always have yeah. the kickoff stuff you'll always have the you'll always have the the meta formations and the the tactics and the overpowering you know i came up against a guy 424 the other day and yeah. i literally was <laughs> it wasn't bam- me was it <laughs> no it wasn't you but i was bamboozled because now i beat him but i was for that initial like 20 25 minutes of getting used to playing against a guy that had you know, for like a lot of players attacking me at once. Um, mm-hmm. It was just kind of a different a different type of game, you know what I mean? And I'd nearly prefer a player that comes out and plays against me and tries to like be aggressive because I just kind of hold the ball then and, you know, like soak up the pressure and try to hit him on the counter-attack with Romario compared to somebody that's really patient and plays like me. So I'd prefer somebody that comes out where it's like end-to-end. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, you're always going to have guys that that I don't know. Try hard is one way of putting it. It's, uh, it's not. And to me, some people like just to win. I think that's what it comes down to, isn't it? It's like sweat across the box. Uh, you know, I like the corner kick where you can swing in the corner kick. Like last year in Pez Twenty One, there was a there was a weird kind of way of doing that. There's always like little I don't know. Would you call them bugs or would you call them I don't know. I'd call, call them ex- I'd call them exploits. Yeah, I'd certainly yeah. call them exploits. And if you if you perfect them, it, it certainly makes the game a lot harder for the person who you are playing against. So I, mean, yeah. like, I don't I don't particularly like to endorse them because it's just a bit like I, I understand that there are things that people are going to exploit, but yeah. ultimately when if you are a casual player, and I don't want to use that term lightly, but if you're like a casual player who just wants to sit down after like a day at work and just wants to play, like the last thing you want to come up against is like three yeah. people who are who are kick off. <laughs> Who are, yeah. who are attempting kick off goals and 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 you know that that you know if you're in say division one and you're playing division one players you probably expect those yeah types of course of you things, would yeah but not not probably down in like div six div seven yeah that you're seeing like larry from down the road who is who's just <laughs> launching it forward in yeah. hope rather than expectation so the blind uh, yeah. passes man they drive me mad the blind yeah you know, when you're like the 180 passes they drive me mad they're like yeah you're playing full assistance okay i get that you know, you've got a serious <laughs> team. I get that. But like, I came up against a guy the other day. He was Div 1 and I was in Division 6 and I needed to win. Well, I had more games to play, but I needed to win to get promotion or whatever. And I went 1-0 up and uh, like straight away, like, you know, kick off, like <laughs> launch the ball forward. I was like, just come out yeah. and play me. Like if he actually played me properly, yeah. he probably would have smashed me because, you know, he was a decent player. But the minute he went behind, he was looking for that goal. Whereas I kind of, now he did eventually, I think he went 2-1 up and then I eventually won 3-2, but like I never went away from what I was doing, do you know that kind of way? Because I was like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. if I, I'm not, I'm, if I lose, I didn't know he was Division 1 until after the game when I went in to check his profile, but um, yeah, I think, I think there's enough in it, man. Like I think there's enough in the gameplay to, 
to kind of improve upon. I mean, there's always going to be room to have more of a skill gap and to improve the defensive responsiveness and a lot of that sort of stuff. But I do think that it's very playable in terms mm-hmm. of if you do come up against a guy that you're better than, like the outcome is usually what it should be. Obviously, you can get screwed every now and again, but you know, there's it's it's like it's like playing Warzone, man. I mean, the kickoff glitch is like camping in a room. You know, there's not really much <laughs> you can do about it. Like you just have to grin and bear it that that's part and parcel. Yeah. That everyone plays the game differently. Not everyone has forty yeah. or you know twenty hours a week to sit down and learn all everything like about the game. Um, but yeah, I mean, like we are we are going to discuss because a lot of people have been asking us to discuss kind of the content in in the game at the moment. So obviously, at time of recording today, the start there's been a few events in terms of there's been new players, new legends. I mean, firstly, way so how do you? How do you feel about the way that they're dropping the legends? Like that it's like three a pack every week. Then you have your featured players and you have your events where there seems to be a lot more GP coming in now into the system and rewarding people that are playing, actually playing the game, you know, rather than just buying coins. Um, Like how do you feel about the kind of firstly the legends and then about the events and stuff? I think that, I think that the way that the legends are being dropped is is... Is 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 fine. That notwithstanding my previous points of GP and, and what yeah, yeah, you yeah. want to hear me wax lyrical about yeah. that podcast prior, I'm not going to keep going on about it because it's boring to listen to, folks. I'll be perfectly <laughs> honest. It's boring. It's boring to listen to, and it's boring for me to then have to then say to you guys. But um, notwithstanding of that, I think the way that they are lumping them together, at least in categories, I know that the the literal translations of some of the things like a chanting like dribblers and like yeah. these kinds of things like i know that gets clowned on but that those are like direct they're like direct kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. translations like there's no there's nothing you can do about that whereas the the logic in which they're putting them together which i think it was was it etu batistuta and robbie Keane in yeah. one then the, you, you know today's one's canavaro three Maldini, best center forwards and... of all time you mean well, yeah, I mean, two and Robbie Keane. Um, you've got you've got uh, Cannavaro, you've got Cannavaro, you've got uh, uh, Cafu, and you've got Maldini. Again, the way that they're lumping them together yeah. is like a a three is a not is a nice little way of mm. doing it because rather than just being oh well, we were just dropping random yeah. people in like yeah. let's just let's just stick in whoever. Same with like Ronaldinho, Maradona, and Figo. Like the, at least there is a little bit of structure to it there, yeah. which I suppose is is a nice little thing. As for the events, I mean, you know, again. If you want to hear me complain about reward stuff, it's fine. At this time, yeah. I can actually give him a, a big plus point mm. on this. Is the starter cup that they put out today, which I believe you can clear with two le- or two games on legend, or if you win them on legend, you can clear it in two games and get yourself two hundred k GP. Mm. Massive plus. Yeah, that's massive. Great success. Great success. Very However, nice. very nice. However. Please translate that over to other cups as well. Yeah. Because obviously, if, if we can see now, for example, we can see that Konami are able to increase the rewards or, or at least change the way they're doing stuff, which is fine. That's mm-hmm. great. Now start changing the stuff where you only get 8K for playing people online. Change that yeah. as well. Yeah, the division not saying, definitely I'm not saying, work done. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying make the events comparable but in terms of, I don't want to play four games and end up with 200K GP, but mm. maybe make it, I don't know, Make it so that you, I don't know, you get 25 kgp per section or per game that you play. Mm. Right? You can do it that way. At least that way, then it's 100 kgp for four games. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Or as you said, you know, the thing about with divisions. Obviously, I know that as of today, they fixed the the ranking system with Div One, which is great. Mm. Again, big plus because they're now fixing stuff quicker than I would say that they've fixed stuff before. Definitely, yeah. I'd certainly definitely. say they're a bit more fluid in what they're yeah, doing in definitely. terms of things that are affecting the game. Now, granted, a lot of people may go, yeah, but where's the responsiveness of this and that and the other? Fine, that that will come in probably, say, a data pack or an alt or an, or an update. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would imagine, yeah, say, definitely. for example, we're going to get we're gonna get to next week, which is, te- is going to be, what, end of season. season two you would expect there. them, and season two coming, you yeah. would expect that there would be something a little bit more in there. Um, to kind of tighten up the game a little bit and mm. then have some patch Yeah, I definitely, oh, well, I season, definitely agree. Yeah, season two's here. Let's let's tighten it up. Let's see what they've they've got ahead and done. So, from a reward stand up, uh, for a reward standpoint, certainly today's cup, yes, mm. very big plus. Uh, because again, I've gone from say having the apology GP uh, and and the running gag in my stream being that you get more GP from Konami's apologies yeah, than you do playing. from actually playing. Yeah. 
I've got I've now gone from the ability of say having only 150k GP to spend to now once I complete this cup I've now got 350. So that so the difference comparably mm. if you want to know the difference between players because I was looking to buy either one of these today. That's the difference between between signing uh, Hakimi or Marquinhos. Yeah. And there's a massive yeah, a gulf difference, between yeah. those two players. It's a huge gulf. Um, so I think from that standpoint, yeah, the ability that they now have, or at least they're showcasing that they can do this, great. Mm-hmm. Let's keep that up now because yes. it's 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 great. It's great that we can applaud and celebrate that these successes are happening. And yes, some people might point to go, yeah, but this stuff should have been done. And myself yeah. even included in that, but that's not going to stop us from them praising it, and it's also mm. then not going to stop us from them potentially pushing them on to do further stuff. Because yeah. again, a game can't stand still because you know season two's around the corner next week. You've got uh, you know on the other side of the fence, you've got team of the season that's well in full flow for FIFA. You've obviously got all of the the EA Sports FC news that's come out this week. You now have to start to kind of hit a little bit harder now to go. Okay, well we we've had a good start. Let's try and steal the thunder back from where it was, because a lot of the the, the positive vibes came from the fact that this landed so well mm. compared to where it was before. So yeah. they just need to keep that up, really, from my from my standpoint. I don't know about you. No, I agree with you, man. I I think the biggest thing that they that they've probably seen this year is like, and the biggest thing that's the, uh, a huge talking point for me is like the the MLO vibes that you get off dream team where you can oh, actually yeah. buy players and train them up and like you can have a player that's like 80 overall and he can be smashing it for you you know because he's on player form or he's he's got a form arrow or whatever but i think mm-hmm. coupled with that i think that like even though you know people have the gp and they have the means to actually grind and they have the means to do it i think that people are still spending a lot of money on the on the coins so i think that things have changed a lot that you know, for years we were saying like, oh, you know, give us the option to to get this player or that player. And I think the way that they've done it has been really, really good because, for example, if you look at Maldini's stats, right? Yeah, he's Maldini. Yeah, he's going to play absolutely insane. But there's players that you can buy with GP that can compete with him stat-wise, like player skill-wise. His player level kind of locks him down a little bit that he can't be up. You know, he can, he's only like, what, five or ten player levels that you can actually boost up and if you want to make the legend players or the featured players uh compatible with your play style like you need to use three or four like stat points which completely takes up everything so like i do think that if you were to go out and buy have the option to go out and buy you know pau torres or someone like that and you're like oh well i need maldini you can kind of get a very you know comparable player for free on the gp market obviously it doesn't have the name of maldini and it's not a legend yeah, and all yeah. that but it kind of is i won't say it's a cosmetic thing because there is obviously gameplay implications that if you have maldini he's going to be an absolute beast but i think that they've really tied that in together this year to say yeah look we we appreciate and we respect the guys that are actually you know bringing the money into this game by buying coins by getting their favorite players like i mean i spun i spent money on ronaldinho like i was glad to do it like it was you know a couple of quid here and there to try and get him i got him um but i'm also enjoying the grinding of the gp like i've about a million gp now at the moment to spend and i'm kind of thinking who i'll buy or what way my team is going to go manager wise and i like that there's a kind of uh like both aspects to it and again as you said with the events I think it's just the early days, man. And I do think that like they are probably watching a lot of feedback and seeing what people are playing. You know, if nobody is playing the events, like our people are just playing the events and like dipping in to get their money and dipping out, that's fine. But I do think that they need to make it rewarding for people that are actually looking to play the events and not try hard mode in the divisions. You know, that kind of way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be able to kind of play it in a way that you could have a, you could have an event with season two just simply like play this event, score 100 goals, mixed between online games and offline games. So you could just score 100 goals and then you get 100,000 GP or you get 200,000 GP or you get trainers or you get, you know, there's a lot of stuff we still you don't get, know you about. You mixture like. all the way through different yeah. milestones. And yeah, everything. yeah. There's, and I there's, think that will there's, come. There's... I think that will come with the match pass because if you're going to have a premium match pass and the reward at the end of it is going to be similar to NBA 2K for what we believe is going to be there's going to be a special edition match pass only exclusive player. So say it's a match pass Neymar who's got 95 
speed or 95 dribbling that you can't get on the market or you can't get in packs for coins. You have to play the match pass for it. There has yeah, to yeah. be more than just play X amount of matches. Like sometimes you don't even need to win yeah. the matches, you know, that kind of way. Yeah, yeah. That's, so, that has to be, there has to be a variety that keeps people engaged to yeah. the point of, okay, well, I need I, I need to get to the end of here because I know that there's something at yeah. the end for me. Yeah. It's very similar to how, to how Fortnite work in terms of once you fill out the pass at level 100, you get the special skin for that season yeah, pass. Yeah, exactly. It's very much the same way that uh, Warzone works. It's the same way that, that any game with a yeah. pass system, even with, uh, with FIFA's one where they have the milestone cards at 15 and level 15 and 30 there's there's that so there needs to be not only does there need to be that reward at the end but there also needs to kind of be gradual rewards as you go through not just mm. gp not just nominating contracts not just trainers but have some players dotted in and around the place like have have like a lower level special rated i don't know uh, uh, uh for example mitrovic for the season that he's had yeah uh, yeah, that'd be know, class, actually, of, yeah. Have, have some like little bits now granted I would say that that then needs to be coupled with the return of the filter system because those players don't become valuable mm. or usable if you're trying to take on Beckenbauer and Maldini. Yeah, yeah and no, Tarth, I get you. And you're trying to play with Mitrovic. Yeah. Like, it, there needs to be a return to a couple of different filters for me for yeah. that to actually yeah. kind of foreseeably work, which is returning of the, the, the uh, team, team strength friend. filter. Yeah, yeah. And certainly there needs to be something on the, on the, on the, the pass support as well. There needs to be that there as well because mm. at the moment for example if you are like knight for example that i've seen playing knight md on twitter um he's playing full he's manual, manual moment, yeah. playing full manual but he's uh, he's having to then play against pass assist yeah one god squads any any pass assist with then god squads and yeah. then it's just kind of like okay so you're not really getting any benefit apart from the fact that you can at least live like you know you live in your own skin to be like well i'm playing manual so yeah. i'm okay yeah but it's like you need to have those filter systems in place for that to become viable mm-hmm. for everybody. Because not everybody wants to rock a monster five star team. Not everybody yeah, wants to exactly. rock all legends. Yeah, but if they, if they did, I think that. if they bring in, like even if they brought in a team strength of, you know, 1900s or 2000 and there was a really good reward at the end of it, like you would have a week of, you know, the likes of yourself, the likes of Sep, you know, the likes of Manasseh, mm-hmm. the likes of Jenkins, the likes of anyone that plays the game or streams the game for an audience, LB, whoever, like whoever streams it, right? They're going to be able to like, oh, what squad is Wes rocking this week? Like, oh, he's after yeah. finding this what? 72 rated yeah. player. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then like... The it then videos... becomes gem hunts really, doesn't it? Yeah. It becomes a gem hunt. Yeah, but the, like, and then that brings into it like the videos that I'm doing at the moment in terms of like, getting hidden gems or finding players that just fit into a certain budget like and there's a lot of yeah. like there's a lot of research gone into it in terms of this guy is unwavering form this guy can play five positions on the pitch so he gives you this option or whatever like that would come into the four live on a stream that you could be like with your chat like oh that's who can i put left wing i only have 20k for this game you know what i mean or you could just choose the players from your squad and have to pick between having beckenbar at the back or a mario up front or you know, yeah, like yeah, just yeah. to have a bit of limitation on it. Like, yeah, we don't want to limit people. If people have gone off and spent 500 quid, which some people have on their squad, and they want to rock up, as you say, Wes, you know, full assistance, like absolutely smashing people left, right and center. Brilliant. Like, that's great. You know, that's what keeps the game going. Yeah. That's what funds that's, the game. Yeah. But they're, you know, yeah, they're definitely. a huge part of the infrastructure as well. But if yeah. you've also got somebody that wants to chill after an hour of work and go on and be you know, world beater and go on and say, right, I have a team that's got my best player is, you know, somebody up front that's say an 80 overall player, right? Mm-hmm. And you're coming up against a team that's very similar to yours or slightly, slightly str- stronger and you're able to grind out a 1-0 result. Like, I just think mm-hmm. that that would, that would add so much and it would cost so little yeah. for them to add. Do you know that kind of way? Abs- ab- absolutely. I mean, some of my, some of my probably most fabled games on my live streams have been level three contests. And funny enough, they've yeah. obviously been against other streamers. Yeah. Like, you know, I remember having level three battles with, you know, with precision, with, uh, with fish, um, with, with all, all of those kind of, you know, Vern, yeah. the, or everybody. Silver squads, and you, like... you, yeah, silver squads, and then you'd like beam in and you'd match up against each other. You'd be like, oh my god, this is going to be a good one. And like, but then it gets everybody hyped then because then you then go, you, like you said, it then be well, what's 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 his level three yeah. team versus yeah. his one. So what what's he got that's different to his? And you would never in a three starter with a silver squad, 
you would very rarely see the exact same squad come up against each other. With the five star ones, it or at least with the the kind of the, the yeah. big players that we've got yeah. at the moment, you're starting to see relative different patterns. I'm seeing Pedri absolutely everywhere. Yeah, Pedri's I'm unreal. seeing I'm seeing Romario pretty much quite regularly in Division yeah. One. I'm seeing yeah. Romario very regularly, even though it was quite looking for people to get him. You you're seeing loads of players. Uh, Marquinhos, as I mentioned earlier, is an absolute rock. Yeah, every time I come up against him. Uh, Casemiro. I'm seeing a lot of the same players. Neymar and Mbappe. There's there's these types of players that are constantly cropping up in these squads. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you have the ability to create a squad, and and all you have to do again from a Konami standpoint, the only thing you need to lock it down to is the your highest rated player in your squad, i.e. via the player value, mm-hmm. is how is the, is what level your squad is. So for example, if I tried to cheat the system very much a la white ball. Yeah. Uh, white ball be- or white benching, which I again am not a fan of in, in any form, <laughs> is that is that if I was starting to rock up and I started to go, oh, do you know what? I'm going to put a load of two star players in and I'm going to jam Romario. Yeah, in front. yeah, yeah. It just goes, sorry, you're playing a five star player. That means you're a five star squad. And all of a sudden, then you go, I can't white bench anymore. Yeah. And then uh, and that solves that issue. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, then you then have people who are then putting together four star squads or three star squads. Mm-hmm. That are then actually Proper. genuine yeah. three star squads. Yeah, so you could have Gavi, and you could have like, uh, you know, you have Gavi in your squad. You'd have the ad- the special Adama that's come in last mm. week. You could have those players, but so long as it's locked to the player value, you're grand. Yeah, and and no, I think I, that would be a that's great a brilliant way of doing it, actually. Yeah, but certainly, certainly something <laughs> I would I would look to as as an aspect that I've enjoyed of the gameplay is the ability to build your squad the mm-hmm. way that you want to. Yeah. I love the fact that they've taken the wheels off the managers. Yeah. I love the fact that they've gone. You don't need to. You're not locked into a a, a, a system anymore. Mm. You can go and play whichever way you want. As long as you've got the play styles, as long as you've got the players in place, you can do it whatever you want. Yeah. I quite like that. Uh, that creative kind of freedom almost mm. to be able oh, yeah, to there's a lot of freedom there now. players where you want to go um the thing and, is man and... if people want to play like it depending like if you if you can take away your i don't know like i get very frustrated like i get annoyed playing the game sometimes but like, everyone does <laughs> in every game <laughs> everyone i play does. and like but if you can take away that kind of frustration of okay i'm gonna lose this game like if you can take away the frustration that you're just okay to like i sat down the other day I played against a guy <clears throat> on my second squad. I was just practicing and he beat me 4-0 like. He beat me 4-0. He absolutely smashed me. But I was having as much fun. Like now I hit the post twice. I missed a penalty. Yeah. So the scoreline didn't really reflect the game. But like he messaged me after it. He was like, GG. Um, he said that, you know, I got lucky enough. And I said, no, you won fair and square. But I said, I actually really enjoyed losing to you. Yeah. No, like I, LOL or whatever. And he was yeah. like, you know, message back. It was a lovely exchange between us. Like he was a French guy. And I was just kind of saying, like, I don't remember the last time I played a Pez game or an eFootball, like, match where I was like, I'm actually happy even though I got smashed 4-0. Do you know what that kind of way? Usually mm. it would be like, oh, mm. I mean, he scored two kickoff goals. He scored a free kick. Like, I've one match coming up on my next episode of YouTube. And, oh, man, I was rage. Like, there was just <laughs> serious rage. Well, but you'll see how well, I lost the game. But some yeah. games there are there that, like, once you can kind of strip back and understand and it's hard but you have to keep telling yourself that like there are people out there playing this game 40 hours a week so it's yeah, very yeah, hard yeah. for me to compete with somebody like that you know what i mean because i just don't have like i'm not putting that much time into it once yeah. you accept that you're going to lose games and that you're not the best player to ever play the game like Ederito or <laughs> Macabell or whoever like yeah. i think it becomes a lot easier to enjoy what you're playing because there's nothing you know there, as in every football game or as in every game now that's online like you lose no matter how frustrating it is that you lose you literally just press into another match and there you go like you're off again do you know what i mean there's no permanent yeah, it's yeah. just that initial rage of i can't believe that that happened i can't believe this guy beat me i can't believe this guy pulled one over me but yeah. i think once you strip that back and i think the fact that you've they've brought in that gp now and they've brought in that way of building your squad and building your manager and stuff is that like there is more room where it's like Oh, you know you'd be questioning yourself you said i wonder if i had a better manager playing quick counter instead of possession yeah, would yeah. that make a difference in my squad whereas like last year in pez 21 it pretty much was if you had the best team you were going to win yeah yeah yeah, and yeah that's that was still it. there yeah. this year it, but it's it, not as heavy i don't think that's my yeah opinion. It, it's gone it's gone from it's gone from being can you act tactic your it's gone from being 
do you have the right manager and his right tactics yeah. and, and that type of thing? So now the onus being back on the player to go, right, here's your tactic that you, you can play with your manager. You put your formation together, you make sure that you're playing the right way, and that will prove whether you're you're the better player or not. Yeah. It's, it, the onus has come back to the player, which, again, is a nice little aspect to have. Because I, I've sat on stream, and I've been absolutely pummeled at times. And I just go, yeah, do you know what, actually? They absolutely deserve it. Because yeah, you know what? They, 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 there are, there are, you know, there are far better players than me out there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but there it's always like, is, I look there's at always going to be better yeah, there's always, than there's always somebody that's better yeah. than you. But uh, my point is, is that I can accept being pummeled on this game because it's like there are people who, like you say, have learned this game and have have got the kind of mechanics down now. Um, there, there are times where I can outplay somebody and I make it look very easy. Yeah. That, that, but that, that that's the same in any game. You can match up against somebody at one point and you could dance through them, and the yeah. next time you're just on the floor getting beat up by them. It, it just happens. So you know, from my from my outlook, I think the gameplay is the gameplay as a whole has got me to a point where I'm like going rather than me rushing off of a stream or rather than me rushing off of a console. Mm. I'm now trying to find gaps in the day to yeah. be like right. I'm playing it. I'm just okay. saying, yeah. If the missus is getting ready, I'm like, okay, I can steal a game here or two. <laughs> like, I can steal a game. And I've never, I have not had that feeling for a, an eFootball or a PES title in years. Yeah. Where I, I'm going, even when I'm streaming, I'm like, I can't end on that one. I've got to go again. Like, I've got to have another one. I've got to have another one. And it's that point where I'm starting to look at the clock now going, hold on a minute. What time were we? What's that? No. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it is. And it becomes, that's back, it, all right, you definitely. Get, you, get, you get lost in it. And granted, to, to the point of being frustrated with the game, of course there's frustrations with the game. Like For, for me, the, the frustration for me is, is primarily is the it's the stop and it's the stop and start when you're selecting a player when they're running back. Yeah. So if you're trying to if yeah. you see that you're somebody's making a run, which obviously you can't trigger the runs now, you're waiting for the AI to yeah. make the runs, which I've started to get on board with slowly but surely, is okay, if my player isn't making a run, I need to make the right pass. Yeah. But as a defender on the defensive side of it, if a player is running, you select them, it stops their yeah, animation and then you have to start them again. Yeah. Yeah. And then and that breaks your momentum for lack of a better word of your player's movement mm. so it stops that movement and then it doesn't allow you to catch back up and then it's too late then yeah so, no, so i agree it's happened a few times the, it's that's that's a major that's a major one that i would say just need to look at the the goalkeeping animations when they come out towards the the player uh rather than if say for example a ball's being played through i'll bring a goalkeeper out and if the player gets to it first he just stands there he just doesn't like you just don't Oh, yeah. oh, the ball, yeah. oh, the ball's gone past me. Yeah. Like that, that is something that's jarring, mm. and and I think there's there's a little bit of I don't know what the case, I don't know what you would what you would call it from it, but there's a little bit of a kind of almost a there's a slackness to the ball, and there's a slackness to the responsiveness of the players, which yeah. I know we touched on already. But it's like that in itself. It's like some there are sometimes where your attacker doesn't identify the ball and neither does the defender mm, yeah. and it just kind of sits there in this weird limbo yeah. state until yeah. one of you figures out how to get the player back on the ball you know fighting um, not to take are, the ball yeah there's there's bits and there's bits and pieces where i look at it and go it just needs a screw turning it needs just needs yeah. tightening it needs I'm not, I'm not saying turn it all the way up but yeah. just gradually turn it up yeah but because some obviously have, a if, lot of, i was i would reckon now genuinely right i reckon that people that play games nowadays i would say 70 percent plus play on wi-fi like do you know what i mean i would definitely say because anytime i play warzone like literally well, everyone i know that plays warzone plays wi-fi like so i'm well, just saying the, i don't see bit. i'm gonna it's put out a tweet bit. i'm gonna put out a poll on twitter now and yeah ask. You, you, but whilst whilst you're putting that out I, i've just realized something that was there in the online performance test but isn't there now but am i having a lucid dream where we could see whether they were playing on Wi-Fi or, I think, or wired. I don't think, no, I don't think that you could see whether they were wireless or wired. I don't, no, I could I'm be wrong. There was something I'm, there when you matched I'm up. I'm sure, it, I'm, I must, I, I'm either forgetting it completely wrong and, I, and I've completely outed myself here. Or no, you I could be right, I don't remember, right. Right. I remember that. I'm I don't sure remember there that. was something where you could see whether they were playing on wired or wireless, I'm yeah. sure. And, that, and it's just curious that there's some bits, there's some bits here that haven't even been mentioned. Like mm. that's like, for example, there's that. There's the fact that it appears as though region lock has completely gone. 
Yeah, that's gone. Yeah, because that's gone. Because I'm starting to see people in the leaderboard who I have not seen. For example, uh, uh, Movo Juve. Uh, yeah, he's, he's uh, USA guy, isn't he? Or South? No, America. no, he's he's uh, Africa. Oh, okay. So okay. he's like he's he's absolute baller. Like, yeah, yeah, ridiculously good. Um, but he's there, and then like I look at ever, whoever else is in like kind of like the top four, and I'm cheating because I'm looking over at my monitor as I do this. But like I can see, I can <laughs> see. You shouldn't have said there. anything. You should just say this is my knowledge. Ah, even when I'm not yeah, this is my absolute ball knowledge. <laughs> uh, but there's but there's players who are like I know are like America or South America that are on the what would have been the European leaderboards. So I look yeah. at it and go, oh geez, actually this that. That wasn't really announced that region lock had gone, but again, opens up a far load more possibilities. Yeah. So, for example, if we're setting up a, a community cup, which, not that I'm trying to nudge him in that direction, folks, but if we do in the future, <laughs> Barry, yeah, nudge. Man. When they have um, lobbies, we can't do it yet. Have, we can't do it yet. I know, I know, I know, I know. But like, if if for example that happens, it then opens it up to go. Oh, actually, you can invite, you know, yeah, Ricky, anyone, invite, anyone now. Invite, like a whole bunch of the South American players, yeah. like you know, your, your Guifedas of the world, your Philip Mestres of the world. Yeah. Like you can invite those guys to come and play. Like there's so many different aspects. And then on the flip side of that, of course, you can go and invite Momo, you can invite people from Australia. It basically yeah. just Japan, opens it right. up. Yeah, it's class. From Japan. I, yeah, Eka, they did like, I don't think that they like, came out. I don't think that they came out and said I don't think they explicitly but, said yeah, it. Yeah, but, but like I I we we kinda I think we kinda knew it because I think either i don't know either somebody told us or else it's not like secretive or anything like that anyway but it was just that they never came out with a press release and said we have removed region lock i think they just said like that we have worldwide matchmaking or something i think it was like a tweet or something yeah but yeah i mean there's that's the thing man there's a lot there's a lot of stuff like that that like we keep talking about you know there's there's so much potential here that they haven't even got into the full you know they haven't even got into full flight yet like of adding like could you just imagine i was even thinking about that you mentioned the community cup there like imagine us having a friendly lobbies right online lobby that you could add 20 people in and then i'm just i know, know where you're going with this go i know on, where you're going with go this on, go you're, on. On about, you're on you're on about having a having a having a a world 11 versus a european 11 yeah, aren't you? that's what i was thinking <laughs> yeah, of yes. doing like absolutely have, like, I'd have be like, for that. yeah have like world <laughs> 11 right euro 11 have your like selection process have like you know all your streamers have everyone have your positions oh you know, switch be, positions well, every couple of games stream it like record it have highlights you know and have maybe like a four or five game series then in, yeah, on top man. of that, then as well, you could also have like, you know, like say a, a, a level three or a team strength 2000 like yeah, cup yeah. where it's like, these are the players that you're using. You know, these are the restrictions. It's one bar pass assist or like semi assisted or whatever. Like there's so much that you could do that. Yeah, yeah. We've had this conversation before where it's like all these things that we talk about, right? Like, if somebody wants to like beat everything that we're saying down and say, yeah, I mean, but this should be a given it's 2022. Yeah, it is. But like, you know, and also the criticism of, but that's not content, you know, that's just should be in the game. It's like for us, that would be content. Like that would be ma like, imagine how yeah. much mileage we would get out of having a community style cup, right. Where you could have 20 players from around the world now, right. Not just European yeah. that you could play. And we could do like the quarterfinals live, a live presentation, like a community driven yeah. thing where you could get guys yeah, in, yeah. you could have the crack, you know, you'd have commentary from yourself, you'd have analysis, like we could get a couple of the pro guys in to play. Like there'd just be so much potential there to do stuff and have yeah. good prizes, you know, get a couple of sponsors in and say, look, this would be a good, this would be a good uh, tournament. But it, I think you get a lot of viewers blows, on it and a lot of interest it blows in it. it. And it blows it blows it open, yeah. Then, because yeah. then it becomes then it becomes a case of you have you know like you said you have <laughs> streamers you have content creators you have pro players you have you know for example my, my idea that I will probably put forward at some point or at least I think I even mentioned this as an idea if you were if you were, it, you know if or whoever is planning to do a two v two cup for example oh yeah you can have it where it's you can have it where it's a pro am so you get however many content creators you want into a round of 16. Yeah. You then get them Just. to basically do a like draw of some description, either that be through their chats or be through mm. Twitter. And then one of your viewers gets to play with you. Yeah, in that'd, the be, cup, that'd be sick. Which, so Stop it's giving like, everybody your ideas, saying, man. You're, you need listen, to be, man, you need I'm to an ideas, I am an ideas you know? guy. 
Yeah, but honestly, it, it, it's 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 an idea that it, the thing is a two v two cup is not like an exclusive thing. It's yeah, not like I, I can know, go. I know, I know. Do you know what? I invented two v two. Like I invented it. That's that's my bag. No, I, know, like, I, I invented two v two. But you get my point. That there are many different directions you uh, can so go much. in. And and again, there's that there's that kind of almost freedom of it. And and to kind of just kind of carry on that kind of point that you mentioned earlier about about MLO. In terms of MLO mm. or in terms of the MLO vibe. It's certainly back within this game because yes, all right, you might have to spend training points to retrain players and stuff, but you still have the ability to do that. You have the ability to change your team. You have the ability to go in and go right. Actually, I didn't like the way I developed him the first time. Yeah, I'll release him. If you got him I'll again, go and get a new one. I'll go get a new one. I'll train him up properly. I've done that with Darwin Nunes and I've done that with Olivier Giroud. Because I, although I'd made them maxed out, I hadn't done their tactics every yeah, time. Yeah, I, I was in, the same with the legends. In, I f- team play spirit yeah. to get. Yeah, I couldn't dream of dropping a legend, mind you. Like yeah. I have to, I'm gonna have to figure out how that that functions into my team. But, yeah. Like, but that that. Hopefully, they'll bring of, in something as you mentioned last day, kind of like a. Yeah. You know, like an, an item, item where you could just yeah. go. Yeah, I'd say they had, to be honest with you, I'd say they haven't even thought. They hadn't even thought of that. Like I'd say it was just because I, I didn't even, I didn't even think of something like that until you said it. It's like, yeah, like we can respect somebody, respect their stats, but I think you know the mistakes of what I've made with my legends, like and having them locked at seventy five gameplay style or whatever. Like it's kind of something that I won't make that mistake again now. Do you know I've learned to have yeah. it. So <laughs> yeah, I think I think yeah, I think a lot of people when it first came out, as we said, they they learned their mistakes the hard mm. way. Be that be misspent GP, be that misspent training points. Um, I think a lot of people have learned the hard way. But I think, like I say, that that vibe of okay, I can go onto the market today. Let me see who I can get, and I can go and flip through. I want to pick out defenders that are from South America, or you know, I can pick out midfielders from the other European leagues that we're going to take a look and see what I can get from my GP. That in itself, uh, you know, you could surf the menus for hours. Like you could mm. surf, yes, you could surf the, I'll rephrase that, not the menus, because we don't like the menus, remember. <laughs> um, the we, You could surf the player list for hours because yeah. from my perspective as a streamer, when I'm saying to people, oh, do you know what? I've got this amount of GP. Who, who would you guys suggest? Mm. I'll get 10 or 11 different yeah. answers. Yeah. Ah, oh, check this guy out. Check out Barrios. Check out Almada. Check out Alvarez. Check out X, Y, and Z. You know, check out Tomori. Check out Abraham. Check out all these mm. different dudes. And you, you just kind of go down that route of going, okay, well, let me look them up on the database. Let me have a look and see what they go to. Let mm-hmm. me see whether it's worth the expenditure, and let me see whether it, whether they fit this or they fit the squad quite quickly. Um, and it's a nice to have as a streamer. It's nice to have that vibe of MLO back in the yeah, game I agree. although it's not there although it's not there in its original form <laughs> yeah it's in there in spirit yeah um, which is quite nice that they've managed to somehow mesh it to a, a system that was quite microtransaction heavy to, mm. to to begin with they've somehow meshed in a system which again and this is another evidence point of, of barry proving you know that i actually should listen to him from time to time is that is that you kind of maybe realise when you explained it earlier about where well, you have the coin only agent which is that but you can go and get any of the other players from that they they have given us the freedom to get any of the players that we want by GP except the legends the features. yeah 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 the features and legends which yeah. I suppose in one sense is like oh okay actually if you just want to go for for play to win or or, or you know you want to grind the game grind, yeah. you can go in that route and if you want to put money in you can go and get these additional bits if you want. Mm. But I suppose for for the for for people, it, it there's, there still needs to be that option. But I I would imagine that's going to come soon. Yeah, I think later. they will eventually I, bring the legends into the market. I, I keep, definitely, yeah. Yeah, because I keep saying to people, I'm like, I'm like, as much as we're sitting here and going, oh, do you know what? This needs to be better. This needs to be better. It's like this is three weeks after launch. Yes, all right, they've had two and a half years. We heard that. Oh, yeah, bloody death. But it's like, okay, they're three weeks in. They've got season two next next week. Mm-hmm. For all we know, they could raft it. They could bring in a whole different type of dynamic for se- season two. And, they, and for all we know, they might be going down the route of going here. Actually, we're going to have different dynamics for different seasons. Yep. So it could be a case that everything's GP only next next season, yep. or it could be the season after. It then becomes like, oh, well, you can do GP or this, or yep. uh, season four could be it's objectives only, or whatever. Whatever is going to be the the driver. 
it, it could change, but, uh, you know, as I keep saying to people yesterday when they were talking to me about what's going after maintenance, I was like, you won't know what's hitting maintenance mm. or what's coming out of maintenance until after maintenance is finished. Yeah. And some people go, well, I'm just reading off their website. I'm like, yeah, even if it's on their website, I still don't, I still don't go with it. Yeah. Only because we had the trailer for, I believe it was Pez. I hopefully got this one right. It was Pez 2019 where they started using the Dortmund stuff. Yeah. And then they had to pull it they out very it. quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had to pull it out incredibly quickly because they went, oh, actually, haven't got that. Mm. So we need to get rid. So for me, it's like until it hits the game, it hasn't hit the game and yeah. it doesn't exist yet. Which yeah, is I think, why I'm I think still as you said, it's cool on a lot of things. Yeah, but you have to be like, you have to think as well as you said there, like it's the game is out three weeks, right? This isn't, this like, usually by now we'd be saying, right, the game is out a month. That means they have eight months left of concentrating on pushing the game, right? Yeah. That's gone now because the game, like there isn't going to be, yeah, there'll be a new seasonal like they're obviously going to bring out eFootball 2023. You know what I mean? And that's going to that's going to upgrade what we're playing now at the moment with 2022 and like obviously that's for the seasons, you know, for the real squads yeah. that you know you need to renew it every year possibly um you know that like if you signed a contract no club is going to sign an open-ended contract to be able to use you know the current yeah, Real Madrid nice. squad yeah, right yeah. now yeah, forever. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like forever. So it has to be renewed every year. But like, I do think that there is, you know, there is, if you go onto the database even, right, there's two, every legend has like two versions at the moment on the database. Mm -hmm. One legend is like slightly lower overall, but he's yeah. got more progression points. He can be trained more. And the other legend yeah. is like the ultimate version. He's got like a purple background in the image. So like, I okay. do think that what they'll eventually do is... It might take time, but I think what they'll eventually do is they'll start dropping in a couple of legends in to be able to be bought with GP. Because also on top of that, we have the contract renewal stuff, right? Which yeah, we yeah. don't know any information. And at the moment, we don't know how that's going to work. Everyone is just able to play unlimited games at the moment for like without any having to worry about contracts or whatever. There is a contract mm -hmm. renewal in there and it looks to be like one of the most expensive items for eFootball points. It's like 25,000 points or something like that. So I do think that there's a lot of stuff that they haven't, that they haven't really like. They haven't showed, yeah, yeah, they, they haven't, haven't, yeah, they haven't showed their full hand yet. Yeah, I yeah. think so, and I think they're waiting to, you know, as as we said, like I know people last year and the year before that would have been like, oh, I just want to, you know, and I personally know these people. I'm not going to out them, but I personally know them and I've spoken to them and had a laugh with them about it. And they've been like, I just want to be able to grind, you know, earn money and buy a player that I want in the market. And now all they're mm -hmm. doing is literally topping up their accounts every week to try and get the legends and try and get players. And personally speaking, I have like, I respect that because people want to get the legends. But it's like, even though we have an MLO style transfer market in now, people are still, still you know what yeah. I mean? Still buying the coins. And I think, as you said, imagine if they bring in that you can buy the legends for a GP as well. It's not going to stop people putting in money. Do you know what I mean? Like if I got a Roy Keane coming to the marketplace, as I've said, like the girlfriend would be out looking for a house because I'd have this place remortgaged. <laughs> if Roy Keane comes in and there was, you know, 5,000 coins or 10,000 coins needed in, like I'd, yeah. I'd put it in and I'd justify it in a way that, yeah, he's Roy Keane and whatever. And, like, I, I just think that, like, they've really got that balance right. And I think yeah. if they bring the legends in, people will still put in money. I'll still throw in a couple of quid here and there. You know, yeah. Christmas comes, I'll get a few PSN vouchers, slap them in. Um, you know, and I'll, I'll still spend the coins. I'll still buy coins and stuff. But I do think having the GP there, it's kind of shifted the balance that, like, it's like the farming, man. I, I remember people before that would, like, they'd farm, like, two oh, or three yeah. million GP. And then they'd be like... But you don't, you know, you're not playing the game. You're literally just logging in to farm and yeah, you have unlimited yeah. GP. But what you, you know, you're not doing anything. You, can't do it. you might as well have it. zero, yeah. do you know? So I think that it's, it's kind of a, you know, bringing in a collector's kind of way of doing things as well, that people just want certain cards. Um, but yeah, no, I think that there's massive potential there for it. And as you said, it's in its infancy at the moment, like the mode and the features and I think even, even at the moment with the divisions and stuff, like the rewards and stuff, like, I think they've just kind of put them out as now, just but I think, yeah, in season two, it'll be a case of, and I think going forward, it'll be a case of, you know, the question was always would have been like, well, why would we add that? And now it's becoming, because it's a free to play title. Well, why not add that? Because it's not going to take away from, you know, your GP market 
going in being able to sign Ronaldo for well, 500,000 yeah, GP we, isn't going to take away from Romario or Eto'o on the legends because people that's, that's want both, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah is, that's, that's the point. That's the point I've kind of been howling at the moon about is mm. if, the, if you have a GP option there... That's not going to affect. No, you know they've, they've it's proven affect, that now. That's affect, proven. Yeah. So if that's a point that's proven, yeah. Then, then the, because then from a business point should, of view, man, at the end of the day, we forward. can talk. We can talk about. You know, we've seen Haaland move to Man City, right? We can talk about the football reasons, but at the end of the day, like it's money, it's business, and that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Like he's on a huge salary. He's coming in. I mean, he's not going to sign for Everton, or he's not going to sign for. Aston Villa or somebody like Leeds or, or who can't give him the, you know what I mean like it's yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. it's never going yeah. to happen and I think at the end of the day we can all romanticise it and we can all talk about this and that and the old Pez games and whatever at the end of the day like it, it, Konami are making a video game to make money like as well every every mm-hmm. single game out there no matter if it's Elden Ring that's offline single player like they're trying to sell the game you know what I mean so mm-hmm. I do agree that it needs to be that, like that the balance has kind of i think re-energized a lot of people um because as you say man it's like people are doing both now they're not choosing one or the other they're like oh i've got five quid yeah. on my psn i'll buy a few coins and throw a few quid into it and oh i'm actually getting a 20 happens. euro psn voucher out for my birthday or 50 euro psn voucher for my birthday put it into coins instead of buying another game that'll sit in the shelf and not be opened do you know yeah, so yeah, i think yeah. it's yeah. i think it's kind of come full circle now that all that's, I think, missing has yet to be revealed. And I think that if we're six months in having this conversation, it'll be completely different if we're like, yeah, well, they have yeah, to add this to that. Yeah, if we're half a year in and we're still having these conversations, then there'll be, then there's big problems. Mm. However, however, at the moment, I think the gameplay is in a, a relatively sound place. Yeah, minus, bu- minus bugs yeah, there's and a minus, few bugs, isn't minus there? general things. Like it's generally in a sound place. The content, yes, or right, is a bit rinse and repeat at the moment with the objectives. I'm hoping that changes with season two. Yeah, but ultimately we're in a place where the the stuff to do. Mm. That's part one. There is stuff to do. Yes, or right, it's playing games and yes, or right, it's, it's playing with USL teams and and whatever the case may be. But it's like if they add a little bit of variance into that, we'll be we'll be good to go, kind of go forward. So yeah, it'll be man. interesting to see what what season two brings. Yeah. I think there'll be might be a small break between season two. There might be like a week break, if I had to guess, because that would bring us into the end of May. There's a week left in the. There's a week uh, left yeah. in season one. Yeah, seven yeah, days. Yeah, so, so that it, would be it ends, the nineteenth. It ends, it, yeah, it ends on my birthday. Nice, nice, nice yeah. reminder for the, for the chat. <laughs> yeah, nice reminder for everybody who's listening to this. You'll be spinning birthday. that day, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that day. Well, I've, nah, that's the thing. I've already, I've already, I've already done early spins. I've known, so I've ended up with uh, with Ronaldinho and Figo. So I was, nice. I, as soon as I got, as soon as I got that, I was like, right, I can peace out now. Like Maradona, I know there'll probably be some top produced up version of him. Yeah, there will. he's a younger down. version of Maradona. Actually. Yeah, so so I'll be, I'll be, you know, I'll be waiting in in in, in the, the wings, in the wings for that. Yeah, man. But look, yeah. right, just as we just to just to tie this off because that's a perfect segue into you know, I think to open up this conversation it is as you said it to start mental health awareness week um i think that's a really good point to kind of start that conversation because i've i've had a lot of conversations with people of you know obviously gaming you know we're we're involved with a gaming community we talk to people from all over the world like luckily enough to have made friends with people all over the place that you know have different opinions have different like everything like if they think differently to me like i'm friends with some people that are just completely the opposite person of me and i get on with them great i'm friends with people you know that are similar have similar interests and it's great as well but in terms of right like mental health and stuff in gaming right like you mentioned there about spending spending coins and stuff i still yeah. feel that there's a bit of a kind of a i won't say taboo but kind of a like there's almost like you have to justify playing a game and actually spending a bit of a bit of a bit of money on it and that justification isn't in like anything else it's kind of similar yeah. to having a conversation with somebody and saying oh you know what you do last night uh wes or barry and like oh yeah i went out for a meal oh where'd you go i went out to yeah, you know five yeah, yeah. guys why would you go to five guys it's so more expensive why not go to mcdonald's <laughs> there's still burgers and it's like but yeah. i enjoyed five guys and i wanted to just go and you know, spending yeah, yeah. 50 euro yeah. compared to 20 is my choice. I earn a living. I have mm-hmm. disposable income at the end of the month after everything is paid for and accounted for. I'm allowed to buy a burger for myself. 
I think yeah, that yeah. it just kind of that justification is still there. And it can bring, it can actually bring people down a little bit because I think it's, mm-hmm. people are almost afraid to say that they're spending money on the game or am yeah. I going way overboard with that or is that something? No, no, like, I think, I think, I think even from, even from my own experiences, it's, it's, it's a case of you, you, you are, you, you have, you have a, an almost an anxiety about it. Yeah. You have an anxiety where it's like, I, if I, if I tell people I spent coins, what are they going to think of me? Like mm. what, what, how, how are people going to see me? Like yeah. and that from from a from my own experiences because i as you will probably know from from when we've done the like the euro events and when we've done or when you've you know spoke to me whilst i've been doing eFootball pro a couple mm. of years ago like i'm riddled with anxiety yeah. about everything yeah. like i am like i am like this petrified little dog in the corner that just goes ah i don't know whether i can do this and there's like a there's like a hint of like the kind of almost imposter syndrome about it going on. Mm. I, I don't deserve to be where I am. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's a local. That's a that's a very much a me problem. Yeah, it is a sense of I look at myself and go, uh, and, and to be fair, I haven't really registered the journey that I've been on. Mm. So for me, I look at me myself now and go, oh, okay, well, uh, you know, I've I've done all of this stuff. But now I am where I am. I'm, mm. I'm like, uh, did, was I? Did I deserve all that? <laughs> like, but that, but that, yeah. But, but that nobody is, else would be thinking that. It's just, it's just no, no, no. And that's it. That's it's, the thing. It's this little. It's it, it's it's like a gremlin. Yeah. Like anxiety, yeah. mental health, depression, those types of things. And I know it's a heavy conversation. Yeah, yeah it is definitely. Yeah. People, but it's like it's like a little gremlin that just comes mm. out and just goes. Nah, you you're not doing that today. Like I I said it last last night. Actually, I was streaming. And I was talking to people about, you know, every time I go to press the, the stream deck button, it's like a, it's like, that's, that's literally how my finger goes on. Like, yeah. Oh, Will I, I want to? Kind of, yeah. And it's like, what happens if I do? What happens if I don't? And if I don't do it, then I, I don't put myself in a stressful situation. Yeah. yeah. And then, and, and that's, that's how my brain works mm. from an, from an anxiety point of view, you're then sitting there going, okay, well, if I don't play this game in the right way for everybody else, they're all going to think differently of me. And then th- there's and to, to everyone else. You'll go, where's well, that's absolutely stupid. You mm. should just do what you want to do. And, and, and that's uh, this, me talking about having anxiety. I've come to combat it quite a fair bit. Yes. Mm. I have almost episodes and setbacks of I'm not, I, I say I'm going to stream and then I don't stream for like a week Yeah, because I just go, I've said I'm going to stream and then I've missed, I've missed my, I've missed, I've missed my lifetime. So what mm. am I going to do? Like, uh, what am I going to, Oh, well that means that but other people aren't going to watch me or other people aren't going to tune back in anymore. Yeah. And you know, my regulars, cycle, or people yeah. are not speak to, it, it just becomes a, a big, big cycle. And, and similarly with spending coins, um, or at least spending coins as a as a as a as a as an outlay, is that it's it's a very dicey situation that you could put yourself in because yeah. if you if you one you need to have the expenditure to be able to do it if you want to do it but yeah. two you need to almost go with the mindset of I'm not going to get what I want because mm-hmm. if you go in there with the with the idea that you're going to get all of these legends in, in three spins and that's it and you're going to be out you start to chase you start to chase the players if you start end up getting three stars and three stars and three stars and three stars and then you get to the end of your coins it's like oh, that's not enough coins you'll go do you know what just if i just have more. 10 more yeah if I have so 10 more spins yeah, that's what it is it's, it's it's very similar to it's very similar to probably i would say the, the feeling on like the you know you see sometimes the slot machines where they, yeah, they, yeah yeah one yeah, arm yeah. Bandit. yeah. Like you'll go, ah, oh, do you know what? If I'd have just put another bit in, then that yeah. would have that would have gone. And you you get into that cycle of going, okay, th- this is. It was, and the worst part about it all is that you you would come probably to the end of this, and you might not necessarily get even what you want out of that. Yeah. So you might go, John, I'm down fifty quid, and I've yeah. got, I've not not got what I've you not wanted. Got anything? Yeah, I've got nothing. I've got, yeah, because it's and, mad. And, like because I know a guy, right? I know like one one of the lads in the community i obviously not going to mention but like like he's basically messaging me privately saying like oh look who i just packed or whatever like he's not a streamer he doesn't you know he's just yeah, a yeah. well-known guy um but he's like oh look who i just packed or whatever and i was like oh I said, you know like you know whatever and he's like yeah he said i wouldn't put up on twitter now because people would be asking how many spins i had to do and i was like for sure like you know why do you care like and he was like, oh, I don't know why I care, but he said, I just don't want people judging me. And I was like, it's, it's, you know, it's like it was kind of, yeah, I was like, yeah. if that was me and somebody said to me, 
you know, Barry, you're after spending 200 quid there on coins. I'd be like, yeah, what about it? Like, it's sure it's my money. Like, I can but, do what I but want. That, but, but, did, but that, yeah, I know what you yeah, mean. I know what you're the, saying the, now. The, yeah. per, the, perception, the perception to you would be, yes, yeah, so what, what about yeah. it? Whereas for somebody who who is on the other side of the fence, who is suffering with anxiety, suffers with depression, suffers mm. with imposter syndrome, suffers with all those different things, they'll be sat there going, I can't let people know that I spent that Yeah, money. no, and it's totally, people, it's totally and it, understandable. And it becomes, like, and it be, and it's, and it's almost what people can probably see in this podcast now is that the reaction to say for example if you turn around somebody like, i spent 200 quid you'd be like yeah and i'd be yeah. like i'd be like oh my god i've spent i've spent 200 quid yeah, i haven't spent, spent 200, 200 quid just as no, a so yeah for, for, full, for full disclosure neither one of us has spent 200 quid but the point is is that like if both of us were to say we've got to you know we just spent 200 quid barry's reaction to i'm spending 200 quid would be a lot different than mine because and that's not to say he's irresponsible. That's not to say he's, he's anything. Well, but I wouldn't spend 200 is, quid on kinds, like, no but, way. But there's that confidence that you have in your own skin. Yeah. Like, and, and for people who have mental health issues, I'm talking myself and crudely, like, some people look at me and go, but where's, how, how do you have anxiety? You stream, and it's like, yeah, that's a cope. That is literally Yeah, so you cope well with it, you it's see, the same that's way, the thing. It's the, same, it's the same way with gaming. And that's why I think a lot of people get unhappy with gaming. And as a result, yeah. they just go, they just get, further and further down the track of I've got nothing left to play because the game isn't where I want it to be mm. because yeah, games are used as a games are used as are 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 escapism, escapism from reality yeah. that's that that's the key bit is and if you're not enjoying the game that you're playing or if you're not just finding some type of level of enjoyment I don't care if you play Tetris Pac-Man <laughs> uh Space Invaders whatever the you know sensible <laughs> soccer if you want to go games. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you if you play any of those games, or if you go back and play Super Mario or the Snares or mm. the N sixty four or whatever, as long as you are finding enjoyment in what you're doing, yeah. that's the key bit. That's the key bit to then go. Actually, sod everybody else. I'm I'm all right doing what I'm doing. Like you know, the people yeah. who play retro retro pezzes, great. Brilliant. You know, yeah. Crack on because that's your enjoyment. That's what you get an enjoyment out of. What. I probably I would say is the thing that you probably shouldn't go and do is then rag on people who are enjoying stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. again, again, if somebody's enjoying something, like if somebody comes along to me and I go, I, what, what ice cream you eating? It's like, oh, I'm, I've got vanilla. Oh, why well, you've got a vanilla for strawberries better? It's yeah. like, <laughs> But it, that's what the you, thing, though, man. Like, it mean? doesn't translate to any other. It, like, it doesn't, doesn't translate to any other. It, it, like, game, and I think is a very. It's such a protected like. Everyone has an ownership of games because they play them and they think it's personal to them. Do you know that kind of way? It's like when you're playing something like Elden Ring or as you mentioned, if you're playing The Last of Us or something, right, or Resident Evil or something, it's like you're the only person playing that because you're you're personally interacting with it. It's the same with yeah. it's the same with Dream Team. It's like oh, like I have Corona in my squad, right? Like he's he's this um, he's this Mexican right winger, yeah, absolute yeah. unit now, right? Like he's played for Porto, now plays for Sevilla. Yeah, like he's probably yeah. like he's probably just like a very he's an average player in, compared to some of the players in e football. But like when he's playing on the pitch with me, like I get more enjoyment out of giving out to him and messing like than being like, come on, Corona, will you put the foot in like than I would yeah. if I was playing with Ronaldinho. Do you know that kind of way? Now yeah. I still have Ronaldinho, but I just think that with gaming, it's like it's a personal thing. So I think if so, if you're not enjoying, like for those really strongly opinionated people on Twitter, because it's anonymous and because you can type whatever you want with no real repercussions, right? Unless maybe mm. Musk Musk gets in and changes things. But like put your ideas on everything. Yeah, like I think because it's kind of anom- anonymous or whatever, it's different than movies and it's different than books because I think with gaming, it's like if somebody is not playing it the way you're playing it or in a similar way to you or in getting the same enjoyment out of it than you then it becomes a thing of like but what like why why do you like why are you playing this way why are you playing four center backs at the back like that's you know why are you playing four strikers like why not play the game why not play possession instead of quick counter and it becomes a very personal thing like where like for me right i know you talk about there like i'm very happy go lucky person right i'm very like i just kind of like let things off my back you know what i mean like i don't really but things still do bother me, you know what I mean? And, like, it was coming to a point yeah. there where, like, I was playing so much Warzone, like, so much Warzone with the lads, staying up till 2 or 3 o'clock in the, in the morning and then getting five hours sleep up for work, like, and then, you know, trying to do everything, like, girlfriend, mm-hmm. Pez Uni, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. hobbies, like, running, exercise, whatever, like, that it was, like, I was literally playing Warzone and no matter how much I played it and no matter how, I could win 10 games in a row, 
and then lose one and it would be like about the one game I lost and like oh I hate this yeah, game it would, like, yeah, it's so would, annoying it no, yeah, yeah it was manifesting no in a different way yeah. like then you yeah. know kind of like it was manifesting in a way that it was actually bringing me down like genuinely bringing yeah. me down and like the girlfriend think, even said it to me she was like yeah. you know it's like my mother she's like you'll have to stop playing that game if you can't control your, well, uh, his, your emotions his, like. his, yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> and the thing and the thing with it is, is it's about the balance of it all yeah so for example like i try not to play on my console unless i'm streaming yeah because then that way then i've got time for winnie i've got time for claire mm-hmm. i've got time for tidy up my house yeah not, not that you not that you probably know it's <laughs> the, 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 the way it is but i've got time i've got time to go out and spend time with my friends i've got time to go and spend with my family i've got time to help coach the football team that i help mm-hmm. coach i have these are all these different outlets so that the, the the thing i think the thing that gets people bogged down in it from a from a from a gaming standpoint is is that if you don't have a lot of those aspects say for example that you have the outlets like that for example if you know you haven't got a great relationship with your family or you haven't got that many friends or you haven't got an outlet to you know i don't know go to work or whatever gaming is used as a catch-all yeah to then it is be yeah. your release but then the issue becomes with that is that if you're not happy with the game yeah playing, when that starts frustrating you've nothing else to fall when that's not frustrating yeah. you, you have you have no other outlet yeah. so my, my you know as i as i think i said on the, the previous uh kind of podcast where we touched on the mental health awareness week reach out to people if you don't yeah, if you're not having a good time with things and if you're not if you're not able to kind of uh kind of talk to those immediately around you i mean i i said it on stream last night i find it sometimes far easier to talk to my twitch chat yeah than i do talking to claire or my family about yeah. anything you know um and and that's weird that's weird because you know if it's a stranger at the end of it sometimes it probably provides you with the best outlook you can have yeah but sometimes you know, you're just um, even speaking it out into existence isn't it because yeah. i'd often message you yeah. and i'd be having a shitty day or i'd see like obviously look not everyone that is involved in the pez community or in any community or anyone that on twitter not everyone not everyone has the same respect like that i would have for people or that you would have for people there are people out there that that don't respect you know anything or they don't like they handle themselves in a way that I don't appreciate or whatever. And like, I'd often message you and be like, oh, like this, like this is a nine me or this is frustrating me or like work yeah. today, in, you know, in, in real life is frustrating me. And I just bounce it off you and I'd say, oh, you free for a chat. And we chat for half an yeah. hour and we're not even yeah. talking about anything. It's just talking about like, you know, e-football or Pez or like, you know, how your it's day just went. It's, it's, it's just it's getting something. it out it's... there for that initial 10 seconds. And then like, yeah, yeah. what do you think of that? Like, oh yeah, he's a dick, you know, whatever. And then it's something, it's something, <laughs> it's something, it's something, it's something to kind of, it's an outlet, but then it's something to then probably understand that the severity of how you're feeling about it. Yeah, yeah, that's is what it is. Isn't, isn't probably as bad as the feeling you're actually feeling. Yeah. So I could, I could come to him and be like, oh, I played, I played player X today and he played like an absolute dick. And then you probably turn around to me and go, Well, everybody's everybody plays a bit like a dick. Yeah. Like, and I'll and go, that's a reflection on him. That's kind of you know, that's Yeah. And then I'll go and then I'll go, Oh well, actually actually that's that's actually fair enough. That's actually a fair point. Like I can go back my day. Like it's it's fine. Like I, I don't take my gaming half as seriously as I used to. Yeah. Like I yeah, used to yeah. be and and that and that you know, it, it, we talk about perceptions and stuff. You know, it used to be all about the champ badge. Then it was all about win percentages and, re- and records. Then it was about uh, now it's about win percentages where everyone's <laughs> flashing their their ninety plus win percentage on social media, which is great if yeah. that's what you want to do. Grand, yeah. But Beasts. at the same time, crack on, do what you want. Yeah. You don't need to publicise it every five seconds that you've got a ninety nine percent win rate. <laughs> like, just crack on, just do what you want to do. Like, it's fine. Like, it, it's uh, it's just for for me. I've got to a place now where I don't take this half as seriously. Yeah. And I think, I think if if we, I think as gamers, I think if you stopped taking your games as seriously, because I know a lot of these games now are pushing for this online competitive. It's got to be you've got to be the best at everything. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's Warzone, there's Rocket League, there's yeah. Fortnite, there's League of Legends, there's all this stuff where you go, oh, you have to be the best. You don't. Mm. Or you, you don't. The, the sole point, the sole point of a video game. And this will be my my. Wesley's final thought is video games were designed to be fun. Mm. They weren't designed to be competitive ridden. They weren't designed to be online ladders and everything else. If you went down to the core of a video game, a video game is just meant to be fun. And if you're not having that fun, 
you've got to go you've yeah, got to just remove yourself to, to, fill the, to fill that void yeah and, to, and to, yeah and don't be frightened to turn the console off yeah turn the console off to remove, withdraw yourself go listen to some music go watch tv go and speak to your loved ones around you if you can or speak to people who are around you yeah just just have just that remove little bit yourself of from that thing yeah the disconnect and, and 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 you'll find that you'll probably find that actually the situation you found yourself in or the mood you find yourself in will significantly improve if you're yeah. not you know virtually bashing your head against the brick wall. <laughs> yeah because as you said man there's always going to be a play to win factor because everyone that's sitting down like nobody likes losing do you know what i mean like if i was mm. playing you in we matched up yeah, i know so. i'd I, we'd have a really good game because it would be like you know we'd still be play to win to well obviously yeah but like <laughs> we'd still play we'd still play it to win but it, there would be a different atmosphere there that it's like i actually don't mind losing to wes whereas if i'm playing some random guy that's faceless and that's doesn't i don't know who he is <laughs> and he pauses it and does his full celebration after every goal like and yeah. i'm like oh what a dick and he, my blood is boiling <laughs> like it can be yeah. it can be very hard to remove yourself from that negative thought like you know yeah like it's just and i do i do agree with you that like just yeah just talk it out man that's what it is all about isn't it like if anyone's listening here and obviously this is this is a heavy topic and we're not trying to you know we we're not trying to um like we're not cure, trying to minimize yeah minimize yeah, it not, or min- like yeah. downplay it or anything but it is it is a heavy topic but i do think even just having an open forum like this you know drop a comment below if you're listening on youtube or whatever and yeah, yeah. let us know your thoughts on it and you know because it's it's it can be hard sometimes like you know to to kind of open up but like obviously yeah. you know we're going to see your comments and if anyone does want to get in chat in pop into yeah, wes's absolutely. stream even you know live and get his reactions stream. live or streams there's my dms yeah you don't anything. even need to make it public you can just yeah. literally just come and chat to me yeah uh, i'm i'm more than more than happy to listen like yeah, it's a, and and the, and the reason the reason why i suppose in in closing is the the reason why i'm the way i am about it is because i i want to own it because i don't want it to be a case where i i want it to be where i dictate how my anxiety and my depression kicks in. Yeah. Like I, I want to be in yeah. control of it. Yeah. Not oh, my yeah, anxiety yeah. decides when I can come and stream, when yep. I can come and play, when I can come and do whatever. I'm in control of this now because I've gone through that counselling. I've gone through that kind of rebuilding my own thought processes on how I can combat things. Now that I'm in control of these things, or at least to a very, I'd say, fairly decent yeah. degree. Yeah. Yeah. I, I now run. I now run. I now run my own show rather than the anxiety, depression, that stuff kicking in. Yeah. Like, and and some people, and like I said, some people look at me as happy go or happy go lucky when I'm streaming or when I'm commentating or I'm doing all this other stuff. You just have to remember there is always a human being behind it. Like yep, it's not definitely. a show. Me yep. being a commentator <laughs> and me doing this. But in the back of my brain, you do have to understand that when people look at me and go, "Why does he commentate over his gameplay?" It's to help. It's yeah. to help me, con- yeah. it's to help me concentrate yeah. and keep, keep a little bit of my thoughts at bay. Yeah, man. No, but that's so, yeah. yeah. It's it's brave to talk about it, man. So fair play. It's nice to, it's nice to do it. Maybe we could do it more often. You know, we check in and people and see what people think in the yeah. comments below. But I know it is kind of a heavy topic and it is a heavy subject that some people do like talking about it. Some people don't. Some people, yeah, and that's, you know, that's yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of it's okay. But like, it's okay not to not to not to like it's okay to have down days you know what i mean we all have down days even the happiest person in the world has down days do you know what i mean like even the likes of bill gates has probably you know drank on off milk someday in his cereal and been in bad form you know so (laughs) it's uh it happens the best of us so yeah we can have bad days you can have good days i think it's just about you know surrounding yourself with good people surrounding yourself with with people that are there for you and will tell you you know tell you what they want to tell you rather than what you want to hear. That's a big thing yeah. I've learned is, you know, like to surround yourself with people that will call you out on things, but not, yeah. not drag you through the mud, <laughs> you know, or like yeah, kick yeah, you when yeah, you're yeah. down, you know, to have a nice yeah. balance there of saying like, look, that's not yeah. cool. Or, you know, do you ever think of it this way? Um, mm-hmm. And also understand as well that the people you're dealing with, you know, whether it's online and he's playing really yeah. sweaty, they're still, you know, there's still a human behind it that you don't know what they're going through exactly. on that day. You know what I mean? Exactly. They could be having yeah. a bad day. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, um, I'd like to see the return of like, you know, the smiley faces and stuff they used to have over their players' heads when you'd score a goal in Pez. Do you remember them? Oh, you mean the trolling <laughs> emojis? Yeah, yeah. That, that'd be fun. Remember the way you used to come up like the pretext or the preset text is like, how did that one go in? <laughs> or like, yeah, yeah. maybe another, maybe maybe next time or something like that. Oh, my, my yeah. brother, my younger brother was an absolute, oh, he was so bad from. Troll, but, absolute um, troll. Yeah, I'd never do a thing like that. But anyway, lads, um, <laughs> that is it. I think, Wes, we'll end it there. Um, yep. Make sure and check us out, lads. We're on every platform. Every platform you can think of, we're on Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple, iTunes, YouTube, um, on audio, and then obviously on YouTube with the video. So if, if we're not on something that you watch or listen to, let us know and we'll try That's and get not. it sorted. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's it, Wes. That's that's kind of it, man. Um, I think we'll end it there. It's been a great chat. Appreciate you taking the time as always. And we will probably upload this tonight so we can get it out. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it for me. I don't know if you have anything to add or we just end it there because... We've been talking for an over an hour now. Oh, I'll, I'll just, I'll just do, I'll just do the ending. No, yeah, that's all you I'll do, do the ending. So, uh, I'm, gonna, the, I'm gonna tee up uh, the music here now for you. Yeah, you're just gonna have to get used to this now. So this has been the uh, Pedro Universe podcast, and we do hope you enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and we will see you next time. Nice, nice ways. That's how it's done. Oh, baby. It's how the pros do it, baby. It's how the pros do it. <laughs> it's how the pros do it. I'm never gonna get the outro back, am I? No, no. Yeah, I reckon if you do you do intro, I do outro. He's he's absolutely perfectly. Now I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. Yeah. That was that was that was good. Very much, very much a fan of that. How is how is